Hey guys, it's me, Kenna, and welcome back to another video. Anyway, so as you can see by the title today, we're finally going to be decorating my tree. I've probably had like that tree up for like four days now. And as you can see, I have like some presents underneath it. I have not been doing a good job at filming what I got my family members, but I promise from this day forward, I'll wait and I'll do a haul of what I got my family for Christmas. But I already have gifts under there because I started really, really early. If you haven't checked out my Christmas decor haul where I showed you all of my gifting, my ornaments, all of my decor, then I recommend you check that video out because all the links will be in that video just because it's a lot of links and I'm not about to do it twice. I may put them in this video, depends if you ask for something then i'll link it down below but go to that video and watch that video and then come back to this one but anyways so yeah we're gonna be decorating my tree today i'm gonna be decorating my tree and i'm also gonna be decorating my actual room and if you're new here don't forget to check out some of my other content don't forget to like and subscribe i would highly appreciate it and yeah let's get into this video and the crazy thing is i actually cleaned my room up this morning just for this video so now it's nice and clean and i have a clean slate to start with and also this plant right here is my sister's. For some reason, she decided to grow pumpkins in here. We'll see how long this lasts just because obviously pumpkins can't grow in there. But that's why that's there. Here is what my tree is looking like right now. It's just like a pencil tree. I think it's a seven foot tree or something like that. And it is pre-lit. And I do think that this is really the only place, the only corner I could put my tree in. There's not really much space anywhere else in my room since my room is pretty small. So yeah, but I think it looks good there. I just won't be able to use the mirror as fully to its potential as I can, but it's fine. I can just use this little corner right here. <laughs> Alrighty, so I put all of my Christmas ornaments in here. I guess these aren't really ornaments, but I put pretty much all my Christmas ornaments in here. And then I have all of my Christmas decor just pretty much shoved down there, but here are the things i'm going to work with first and then also this little gnome dude right here i'm not really sure where i'm putting any of this at but we're gonna see all right so for starters i definitely have to do something to this dresser i'm going to keep this mushroom because it definitely matches my christmas theme and right now i don't have a christmas candle i have some christmas candles coming in they haven't came yet but i think i'm going to replace this plant with this tree just because i don't know i think it will look good this way Oh yeah, it's definitely giving them Christmas vibes. Oh, it's so cute. I can't wait to actually have a Christmas candle though. Next up, I'm going to decide where I'm going to be putting my little my little nutcracker. I kind of think I want him up here where like he's just chilling. I think that looks good, but I may end up moving it. I'm not sure just because my shelves are so empty. Oh, what is going on? Lastly, I need to decide where I'm going to put this nomad, which is pretty much one of my favorite dudes. He's nice and chocolate, just like me. Anyways, I have no idea where to put him. I mean, I could put him on my nightstand, but I kind of feel like it would look weird. That's my only problem. This is my dilemma. This does not look good here. I wanted it to work, but it just doesn't work. Although the nutcracker looked good, good up here i'm just gonna have to put the gnome dude here just because he doesn't look good anywhere else literally but this still looks good i need to take this tag off now i think about it but i'll do it later and then i moved the little nutcracker dude to be over here um it looks a little bit weird but i think it's just gonna have to work i think it probably just looks a little weird just because i need like more decor in between it all which actually reminds me i do have these little trees right here, these little bottle brush trees that I can actually use. So I think I can fill in this space and make it look more cohesive, if that makes sense. I'm so sorry for these angles. I need a tripod. Just don't fall off the bed. Anywho, I gotta open these up. I think I'm just gonna leave one up here because I want one on my desk. So I think I might just leave the red one just because it matches better than the pink one i think it looks good there and also this is cody she's a bear she's cute all right so now i'm going to be putting this on my desk which my desk is nowhere finished nowhere done but i need to put this somewhere on here just to add a little bit of festiveness to it what do we think does that look stupid <laughs> i think it looks a little stupid here's what my desk looks like it actually looks pretty good so i'm gonna leave it there because i think it just adds and then when i'm on my computer i can still see it over here and it's all pink and cute Alrighty, so now it's time for the part that i've been most excited about most impatient about most anxious about and that's decorating my tree oh 
rude. Anyways, and that's decorating my tree skis right here. So I need to get into the decor. I have all my ornaments in here, and then I have some more ornaments. I have these glass ones, and then I have a whole bag of these red berries for the tree. These are gonna be my last finishing touches. I think first I'm gonna start off with the red ornaments, and then I'm gonna fill it in with all my unique ones. We're gonna see. I have really bad luck with ornaments, so hopefully I don't break these ones. I even break the non shatter ones. Let's get into it. Right about now is one of those times I would have loved to have a wide angle camera instead of using my phone. Because it would just be so much easier getting footage. Get them ready to go. Alright, you guys, I'm back. So. And I sh probably should have done this before filming this video, but I meant to get all the things that I have from last year, pretty much all the previous years, and decide on what I'm going to have in my room now. I should have been done that, but that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to be showing you guys what I have. First off, let's get into this hat right here. My sister made me it last Christmas. <laughs> Look at it. It's so funny. It's like one of those long ones. I look you feel like I should wear this the rest of the video. Take my call clip out. Oh my gosh, so festive, slay. My little rinky dink hat, it's cute though. Anyways, so now I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here because I have some stuff in here. I'm not sure if I wanna use it. I really just went out there so I can find my hooks so I can hang my ornaments, but I'm not even sure where those are at. I'm thinking I could use this maybe possibly i'm gonna hold on to this i can actually use this one too so i'm gonna use this one and in this bag right here i have some more of my little christmas stuffed animals i have this little dude right here which matches my room perfectly every christmas i bring this dude out and i bring this dude out this little what is this called a moose my little moose dude look at his eyes <laughs> and then lastly this is my newest collection i got this last year um, I got this little rat thing. Um, I don't, I guess it is an ornament, huh? I didn't have it as an ornament though. I'm probably gonna put this one on my desk also. So I'm gonna show you guys where I put these at because I should have been brought these out. But yeah. Oh yes, and I also forgot to mention because all of my stuffed animals have a name. This is Brian. But yeah, this is where Brian's gonna be at because my favorites get to sit next to me while I sleep, so. And then I have this little raccoon over here in the corner because I don't really know where to put him at. And lastly, we have this mouse, which for some reason, it reminds me of Coraline. But anyways, we're gonna have this mouse right here. He doesn't have a name. Um, I'll give it a name another day, but that's where he's gonna chill for now. Now I'm going to decide on where I'm gonna be putting this little tassel thing, which I pretty much think I'm gonna put it on here, kind of like how my leaves were. I put this on my shelf and then just hang it over. So we're gonna see how that looks. I thought I was filming myself wrapping it around, but my camera wasn't even on. But anyways, here's how it came out. I pretty much just wrapped them down the sides. I think it adds an extra like festive vibe to my room. So now it's really starting to look a lot like Christmas. And also at any point in this video, you notice my makeup creasing. I'm still learning how to do makeup, so don't look at that. Okay, anyways, I secured the uh, ornament hook things. I got some from my mom because I couldn't find mine. And now I'm going to hook all these ornaments and we're going to get started on putting the red ones on first just because I feel like that would be like the easier ones. Now it's one of those times I could really use a wide angle camera. I'm already knowing this process is going to be a lot more harder than it needs to be. I can't even take them without the packaging without messing them up. Okay, we got one. We got our first ornament of the year. My tree's a little cricket though, but let's not mind that. I think I'm going to put it here. Yeah. See that? Ornament number two. I've actually decided to turn the light off just so that way whenever I finish we can see the final reveal in its full glory with the lights on so I'm going to do it without the lights.
right, so that's the first pack. I have nine more. I'm going to focus more on the top because I only put one up there. But I'm also having to do the back because... Because of the mirror, the reflection, I just have to do the back also. There's just one side that won't have anything on it, so yeah. Guys, one fell off and it broke. But I'm still going to hang it up. I just have to be extra careful with it. <laughs> Here's the first look at the Christmas tree. This is how it's looking currently. I tried my best. Obviously, I could have used more red ornaments, but I think it's just gonna be fine. I want a more minimal, not super crazy tree, so I think it's fine. All right, I take my jacket off because the heater is on and I'm a little warm, so I'm putting it back on after I cool down, but now I'm gonna get into these ornaments. I think first I'm gonna start off with what I have the most of, which is pretty much all of my little mushroom ornaments. I'm gonna be starting off with all of these. I need to pull all of their prices off first and then I can hang these. <laughs> to hang all of my little plant pots these are so cute these are probably some of my favorite ornaments that i have but yeah Christmas gnomes. This one is like my favorite one right here. So now I'm going to do my two manzanas right here, my little cheap manzanas. And then now, since I'm getting a little bit impatient, I'm just going to be doing all of my singles, all of my little people, and then just little random miscellaneous animales. for the easier part least precise part which is all of my little red berries i need to add i'm just gonna be randomly sticking them in there i don't think i would need all of them but they're just cute little flocked ones and they match my tree because my tree is also flocked so i'm just gonna go ahead and add these in and then i'm gonna show you guys my ending result all right so now that i'm finished for today i'm gonna show you guys all that i've done it's definitely looking super festive without looking like crazy festive. Now, as far as like bedding and stuff goes, I may get a, like a Christmas throw blanket. I'm not really sure yet, but for now, how my bed looks, is this how it's going to look. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour, not too in-depth. 
of what I've got done and then maybe if I add more decor then that'll be like another video but yeah let's get into this tour starting off with my dresser obviously I put in the tree right here and then my bed pretty much looks the same over here to my nightstand I added this little nutcracker this bottle tree and then my little Christmas stuffed animal looking okay it looks a little cluttered a little crazy but honestly it's just gonna have to be like that so yeah. and then over here at my desk I just have a little tree here and then a little raccoon in the corner my desk is needing a lot of work so this is what's gonna look like for now and then moving on down here I just have a whole bunch of like Christmas packaging stuff and like random stuff over here but on this shelf right here I just have my little mouse dude and then going all the way up the whole shelf i have these little tassels well it's one long tassel that i've had like for several years at this point and then i have this little garden gnome last but not least here's my tree 